Hi, uh, good afternoon. My name is Maher Lewis and uh, today we're going to talk about uh, uh, the, the following. Um, so don't get frustrated. It, it does work. It's very dynamic and it's very useful. So uh, I'm going to show you to you right now. You got something, Anthony? Um, well, again, I'm not going to be able to show it. Um, there was another question, kind of a follow-up to the uh, pipes and profile. Okay. And I don't know if you have that pipe drawing. You might be able to show it. Just how do you how do you draw a crossing? Yep. On a okay. profile. And that's again just simply if you have things developed as pipe networks. In other words, they're intelligent civil treaty networks. You can just choose to draw those pipes on a particular profile. Um, so I don't know if you have that yeah. one drawing. Yeah, I'll bring that up. What we can do is, is, is look at a drawing that has a pipe in it, and we'll just draw a new pipe network that crosses it. And once that pipe network is defined, and, and there's some new tools in Civil 3D 2007 that allow you to take like polyline or grading feature lines and convert them directly to pipe networks. So in a scenario where maybe you have a bunch of existing ground, um, uh, sorry, existing line work that was created either by survey or brought into GIS stuff. Um, if you want to then convert that line work to a pipe network, it's very easy, and I'll show you that right now. Um, they're seeing what I'm doing, right? Yeah. So if I just take a, a, a polyline here, right, and I'll say that that represents maybe it's a, a crossing culvert. What I can do is come into the pipe network, create some object, and now pick that that line, and it shows me, okay, there's an arrow for the direction. We'll say that that's okay. And I'm, I'm prompted with a dialog box here. How do I set up this pipe network? What part list is it going to use? What type? So on and so forth. And in this case, it's an example, so I really don't care. Um, structure, I want to make sure it's an actual structure. Um, and then there's a, there's a couple different options here. Do I want to er erase that existing entity? And do I want to use the vertex elevation? Well, for this example, it's just a flat polyline, so I'm not going to use those vertex elevations. I'm, I'm again, uh, instead, it's going to pull from uh, the surface, I believe. If I did have intelligent line work, um, polylines with elevation or feature lines that were collected in the field from survey, I would use that option and it would pick up the, the elevations from those vertices. Okay, so now I've got that pipe network. And again, I'm, I'm doing this off the cuff, so I don't know if it's designed right or not, if we're going to have an interference or not. But we do have a profile here of that pipe, of those pipes. What I can do is, excuse me, I keep zooming too much, come into pipe and say, um, draw parts in profile view, and then I would just pick the one pipe, okay? And I would just say selected parts only, and now I will zoom over and pick this view uh, here. Uh, I missed pick here. Let me just do, excuse me for the zooming, I made a mistake, so I catch up. And now when I draw it on this profile view, what's happening? My profile view. There we go. So this pipe was way down at zero. So it grew my profile quite a bit. Um, but you can see that it is now drawn on that crossing. Okay, so that's probably, I think the way it's, met, uh, the way it's set up with Civil 3D is you can come through and just say, okay, here's all the networks that are crossing my alignment. Let's draw all those on the, the profile. You can use that in conjunction with the interference checking to see which pipes actually do interfere in a certain uh, vertical distance with that with that profile. Um, so if you have your centerline pipe, um, you can then run interference conditions to say within 10 feet of the centerline pipe, show me all the other pipe networks that interfere, and then I'm just going to draw those ones on, on the profile. Anyways, that concludes this video. Thank you for watching.